Hi, my name is Gary Cobb, and I'm a solutions engineer here at Jitterbit. Today, we'll be looking at an integration between QuickBooks and a CRM. In this case, we'll be using Salesforce. However, this is representational of not only CRMs, but also ERPs or any other systems you might want to integrate your QuickBooks instance with. We'll be moving account data. Our first integration will be batch. And this will be unidirectional from QuickBooks into Salesforce. We'll then create an account in Salesforce and see that created in real time in QuickBooks without running a batch process out of Jitterbit. Once we replicate that account in QuickBooks, we'll see the ID come back from QuickBooks and shown in Salesforce. Let's go ahead and jump into our QuickBooks where we can see that we have 29 accounts. And in Salesforce, where we can see we currently have no accounts created for the week. Now in Jitterbit, we're going to go ahead and run this operation where you can see we're querying our accounts out of QuickBooks, mapping them to our Salesforce instance, and then upserting them into Salesforce. Now I'm running this on an ad hoc fashion. However, it's more likely you would set this up on a scheduled basis to run every minute, five or 10 minute increment. Now that's completed. Let's go ahead and jump back into Salesforce and refresh and see that we do indeed have our QuickBooks accounts, all 29 of them, along with the QuickBook ID in the external ID field here. Now moving into the real-time process, We'll go ahead and create an account. And in this case, we're going to check a box to signify to Salesforce we want to create this account in QuickBooks. Now, this doesn't have to be a checkbox. There's many ways we can set up this trigger. I'm just happy to use this Boolean option here today. I'll go ahead and save this account. And if we give Salesforce just a moment to send this payload out to Jitterbit, Jitterbit's going to create the account in QuickBooks. And after doing so, Jitterbit will bring back the ID to our external ID field here, and we'll see the actual ID from QuickBooks. Let's go ahead and refresh. And here you can see that I, I do have my ID 77. And if we verify that in QuickBooks, We'll see our new account at the top of the list here. And by clicking into it, we can see in the URL that we do indeed have ID 77 for our new account in QuickBooks. Now, today we've seen QuickBooks to Salesforce in a batch process. We saw an account created in Salesforce and sent to QuickBooks in a real-time process. And it's worth mentioning that although we're working with account data here, this can really be any type of data, maybe purchase orders or sales orders or invoices or anything of the sort. Again, my name is Gary Cobb. I'm a solutions engineer here. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or reach out to your sales representative. We'll be happy to have a discussion further about your QuickBooks integrations and the needs around it. Thanks and have a great day.